Giovanni Selzy and David Crabble bring us to green flag action in Peebley. Gravel jumps to the early race lead. Selzy in second. Baylog and Copoint battle for third in the corner number three. Selzy to the inside out of turn four. David Gravel leads the opening lap. David Gravel on the bottom. Giovanni Selzy in the middle. Moisture coming back up in the racetrack now in turns one and two. Three and four. Slicker. Macedo to the inside of Baylog. Move Carson Macedo into the fourth spot in car number 41. Copoint to the inside, takes the second spot away from Giovanni Selzy. But he Copoint up to second now and sets his sights on leader David Gravel. First and second into turns three and four. Gravel trying to split, oh, trouble right in front of the leader's car, spinning Christopher Trump. Caution flag waves. Gravel waiting and now getting on the throttle. Carson Macedo up to challenge Giovanni Selzy, battle for the lead. Gravel maintains the momentum and keeps the top spot, but Buddy Copoint is right there with him. Giovanni Selzy in third, challenged down low by the 41 of Carson Macedo out of turn four. Macedo works the bottom again in one and two, all over Selzy for the third spot. Carson Macedo coming after the 18 of Giovanni Selzy, makes the move to the inside, entering turn three to take the third spot, but the caution flag will wave. Aaron Reitzel stomping on the backstretch in car number 87. Flag conditions once again. Gravel to the top. Copoint slides him. Buddy Copoint leaves momentarily. Gravel crosses right back underneath him. And now Carson Macedo coming to work on Copoint for second. Bill Baylock challenging Giovanni Selzy for fourth. Shots to the inside. Can't do anything with Sheldon Hunch. Baylock to the inside of Selzy. Bill Baylock now the fourth in the 17B. 16 laps complete and Baylog not done there, looking for third. Baylog takes the spot away from Carson Macedo. Bill Baylog now up to third in the 17B. Last time across the street, oh, trouble car, sudden spinning. It's Christopher Trom again, and there's a wheel missing from that car. Wheel missing from the 21R of Gunnar Ramey. David Gravel waits to bring us back under green flag conditions. Macedo a peek to the inside. Baylog trying to fend off the charge for third. Copoint a little bit of a bobble on the inside of one and two. And now Baylog all over Copoint for second. Sheldon Hodden showed low. Giovanni Selzy up high. Baylog looks to make the move for second. Can't make it happen into turn one. Giovanni Selzy rips the cushion now. Looks to go to the outside of Baylog. Gio back to third at the end of the back straightaway. Baylog trying to slide up in front of the number 18 in turns three and four. Just past the halfway point as they cross the line. 21 laps down. Baylog and Selzy waging war for third. They go wheel to wheel at the end of the front straightaway. Bill Baylog to the cushion. Selzy to the cushion. Now Baylog turns off the bank and comes underneath Selzy at the end of the back straightaway. Macedo to the inside of Baylog now. Carson Macedo looking for third on the inside. They'll go side by side. Carson Macedo and Bill Baylog still wheel to wheel on a quarter number four. They get very close there. Macedo will be third as they complete lap 24. Selzy to the cushion out of turn two. Sheldon Hunt showed right there. They both close on the 99 of Skylar G. Sheldon to the inside. Slide job out of turn four. Sheldon Hunt shield now into the top five in the NOS Energy Drink number 17. Carson Macedo. Oh, trouble right in front of Macedo. Car spinning the 23. Garrett Williamson sideways on the inside of corner number two, and we are under caution once again. Back under green flag conditions. Copoy follows Gravel on the cushion in one and two. Macedo down low out of turn two, and now Carson Macedo second. Carson Macedo to the bottom in three and four. Buddy Copoy drifts high out of the corner. Macedo second as they cross the line. Sheldon Hunchum trying to find a way by Bill Paylock for fourth. Copoy to Macedo side by side into turn three. Buddy Copoy looking for a run on the inside now on the front stretch. Copoy to the inside, slides up the banking. Second for the moment, Macedo crosses back underneath him. They'll stay side by side, and now Copoy second once again to three and four. Copoy trying to make the middle work in three and four. White flag waving for David Gravel, one lap to go. Gravel to the cushion, Copoy up top as well. Final time down the back straightaway. David Gravel goes flag to flag at I-55. Wins night one of the spring classic. Buddy Cope points second. Carson Macedo third. Bill Baylog fourth. And Giovanni Selzy in fifth. In David Gravel's hand as he climbs up top to celebrate the win on night number one of the spring classic at Federated Auto Parts Raceway at I-55. Man, uh, 
what a car we had tonight. Um, I was nervous early on, man. Qualifying didn't go very good, but was able to get a good uh, qualifying effort there. And uh, yeah, Cody kept working on it. And uh, on the dash, I knew we had something really, really good. And uh, yeah, feels good to win one here. I, I haven't won one here since like 2017 or 2016. So it's been way too long. I felt like we were really fast here the last couple years in this car. And uh, you know, got together with someone leading and uh, had the nose wing fall down at Ironman 55. So got to thank Cody, uh, Zach, and Steven for working really hard and giving me great race cars night in, night out. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to drive this two car right now. Uh, you know, I, I feel like we've kind of, you know, been there the whole year other than Cotton Bowl when we, you know, got into a crash and uh, had to come to the work area. But it's so hard to get in a groove when you only race uh, once every week or, or once every couple weeks. So happy Mother Nature played nice with us. So. I just got to thank everybody at um, Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, um, JRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants, uh, Impact Signs. Um, couldn't do with all them, Berryman Shocks, uh, Morrison Engines. It's, uh, it's been good. Everything's been going really good. So we're just going to stay focused and uh, put our heads down and keep working. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit worldofoutlaws.com.